This CAMP Photoshop tutorial is demonstrated in Adobe Photoshop CS3. Most or all of the techniques can be accomplished in previous versions of Photoshop. Welcome to CAMP Photoshop, the destination for new adventures and creativity. Learn more at CampPhotoshop.com. Now, Adobe Certified Expert and Head CAMP Counselor, Roger Ridpath. Welcome to CAMP Photoshop Tutorial 008. This is a continuation of Camp Photoshop Tutorial 007. If you made your way here without seeing Tutorial 007, you may want to jump back over there. That's Camp Photoshop Tutorial 007. And as just a reminder of where we're headed, this is where we left off at the end of Tutorial 007, and this is where we're going to end up at the end of Tutorial 008. So, let's get started. Remember, if you want your workspace to look like my workspace, go under Windows, choose Workspace, and Default Workspace. Now, if you've watched some Camp Photoshop tutorials before, you've seen that I've used channels to do a few other things. In this case, I want to use the Channels palette to create a contrast area on the skin that's going to create the reflection that you would get from gold paint. So I want to pick the channel that has the highest amount of contrast. It looks to me like this blue channel has a lot of contrast between the darkest areas and the lightest areas. So I'll duplicate that channel. I'll just drag it down here to our make new channel icon and now we've got a duplicate of our blue channel. Now what we want to do is adjust the levels on this channel. We're adjusting it just on this channel. We want to go to Image, Adjustments, Levels. Now, we want to really blow this image out where we have an extreme amount of contrast. And the fastest way to do that is just to drag the two far ends of the level adjustments way in here to the middle. And you really want to get this very, very extreme so that it will create the glossy reflected effect that we want to have for a gold shiny spray paint effect. So I've, I've almost got these three points right into the center of our levels here, creating a, an extreme amount of contrast. I'm going to go ahead and click OK to that. Now I'm going to go back over to my channels. I'm going to turn my RGB channel back on and I'm going to turn off the blue copy that we made. Now I want to go back over to my layers and I'm going to need to make another duplicate of our base image. We did this before. We just go to layers, smart objects, new smart object via copy. Now we have a new copy in our layer palette. I want to change the blend mode on that layer to hard light. Now I want to go over to the select menu. I want to go down here to the bottom and say load selection. And in our source area we have an option to pick a channel and there's our blue copy that we made just a moment ago. I'm going to go ahead and pick that. Uh, just leave this in the new selection. Click OK. Now we've got a selection based on our high contrast blue copy that we just made. I'm going to go back over to the layer palette. I'm going to click on the mask, add mask layer icon at the bottom of my layer palette. And now we're starting to really get a great looking shiny gold reflective appearance to our skin. Now we just need a few finishing touches to kind of finish this image off and make it a little more interesting looking uh, versus just having everything be gold here. I want to go back over to my layers palette. I want to select my original smart object layer and I want to go back over to layer, smart object, new smart object via copy, back to my layers palette. You can see that this copy that we just made is uh, right here just above the original. I'm going to move that all the way to the top of my layer list. Now, as you can see, we've lost all of our gold paint effect because we've moved an unadjusted image to the top. The first thing we want to do to this new uh, smart object 
that we've created is add a mask. So we can do that by going to the bottom of our layer palette and clicking on the add layer mask. Then I want to make sure that I've got that layer mask selected and I want to do a control I on my keyboard which will invert that mask basically hiding everything that uh, is in that image from this this layer is no longer showing anything within it because it's completely hidden with our mask now with the mask portion of the smart object still selected I want to make sure that I have white selected for my foreground I'm gonna pick a brush and what I want to do is I'm going to adjust my brush down to a smaller size. And I just want to ma I want to bring back in for my mask the areas around her eyes. And I think it's kind of interesting if you just get a little bit of the red and the pink, let's say in the corners of her eyes and just around the edge of her um, eyelids and things. We just want to get a little bit of that in there and. Uh, paint that back in on our mask using white and do that to both eyes again a little bit of this red just around the edge of the eye I think kind of adds to the realism of the effect and then I want to do her mouth as well let's not paint her teeth gold so again I'm painting white into our mask our reversed our inverse mask and that's bringing out the original color of the image and uh, I think that adds a, an interesting realistic effect by seeing some of the, that color around her mouth. I'm going to go back over to my layer palette. I'm going to add a new layer. Since we had that masked layer that we were just working on at the top selected, this new layer will appear at the top. If it doesn't, that's where you need your new layer to show up for this to work correctly. I'm going to go to my foreground and background colors and I think I'm going to give this woman some uh, bright blue eyes. So I'm going to go over here and pick a uh, fairly intense blue and painting on this new layer that we've just created. I'm going to paint in some blue. Somewhat accurate here, although you'll see when I make an adjustment here that being exact is not completely critical. So I've got some blue in over her, the colored part of her eyes. And I'm going to go back and to my layers palette. I'm going to change my blending mode to color and you can see now that I have some very blue eyes if that's a little too blue for you you can again over here on your layer palette adjust the opacity of that blue a little bit so that uh, it's not completely unrealistic and there you have it we now have a woman painted gold now remember you can change this woman to being other colors other than gold that now that you have everything in place, you can do this very simply by going to your layer palette and clicking on your gradient map. And if you adjust the gradient map to uh, either a new color that you've created in your foreground and background, or you can even use one of these other colors that are already here, um, you can apply all kinds of things and get all kinds of interesting effects maybe not the gold effect you wanted this is this is completely different platinum effect but that adjustment is now really easy to make just by adjusting this gradient map adjustment you can do all kinds of crazy things I think I like our original gold woman best another great tutorial we've got this great looking gold woman don't forget to stop by camp photoshop Give us a little support, sign up for our newsletters, buy some tutorials, and we'll see you next time. Raj, that looks great. You've reached the end of this camping trip. Hike over to CampPhotoshop.com, where visitors can sign up for freebies and more video tutorials by Adobe Certified Expert and Camp Counselor, Roger Redpath.